A very good morning to all of you, class fifth. This is your English teacher Tanishka Dube. Now today we are going to read our next chapter, our next part of chapter number second. That is a poem. Okay. In this chapter, we are read about the polycane. Okay. This poem is written by John Ciardi. Okay. Who is the writer of this poem? John Ciardi. Okay. Is this clear? Now let us begin. The reason for the polycane is different to see. Okay, his beak is clearly longer, as you see in this picture. His beak is clearly longer than there's any need to be. Okay, than there's in any need to be. As you see in this picture, the polycane beak is too long. Okay, it's not a bale, a boat with. He doesn't. Own a boat, okay. He doesn't own a boat yet. Everywhere he takes himself, he has take big to tote, okay. I repeated this stanza again. It's not a bale. The meaning of bale is to remove water from the a boat by lifting it, or we can say that with your hands or a container like a. Container, as you see in this picture, his beak is like a container. Okay, yet everywhere he takes himself, he has that beak to tote. Okay, it's not to keep. It's not to keep his wife in. His wife in. His wife has got one too. Okay, the meaning is two. The means she has also a. Beak. It's not a scoop for eating soup. Okay, <laughs> it's not a scoop for eating soup. It's not an extra show. Okay, it's not an extra show. In this poem, we are reading about the beak of a polygon. Okay, it's not quite for anything, and yet you realize it's really quite a splendid beak. In quite a splendid size, okay, a splendid size. The meaning of scoop is spoon, okay. Means it is comparison that it is not a scoop, it is not a spoon. While we are eating the soup, okay, is this clear? If you have any confusion, then just message me and consult me. Okay, thank you.